please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It helps. It really does. Hello, fool lovers. It's good you're here. Lam Gun Ho, more famously known as Lam Ching Ying, was born on the 27th of December 1947 in British Hong Kong. He was an actor, martial artist, film director, producer, and action choreographer known for such movies as The Prodigal Son, Magnificent Butcher, and Mr. Vampire and its sequels. Lam came from a poor family. He was the third of six children. His parents made a living doing catering. Lam attended Shan Yi Association Elementary School in Hong Kong, but he was a bad student and dropped out after two years. At the age of 10, his parents enrolled him in Hong Chao Drama Society to learn Peking Opera under the guidance of Madame Fan Fok Fan. Because of his slender body structure, Lam would specialize in playing female roles. After five years of performing on stage, Lam realized that the Peking shows were no longer as popular as they once were and that it was being replaced by movies. So at the age of 17, Lam joined the film industry and became a stuntman and martial arts coach at the Shaw Brothers Studio, where once again, due to his slender build, he was often called upon to double for the female actors. At the age of 19, Lam would have an encounter that would change the trajectory of his life. As the story goes, while hanging out with a group of friends, Lam would meet Bruce Lee. Having heard stories of Lee's exploit and believing them to be exaggerated, Lam challenged Lee by telling him he did not believe Lee was as strong as people said he was. This would culminate in Bruce demonstrating his famous one-inch punch on him, resulting with Lam being hurled across the room. Instead of being angry with Lam, Lee was quite impressed with him, so much so that he made him his personal assistant. By this time, Lam had participated in over 13 movies as Shaw Brothers Studio as an actor, stuntman, or fight choreographer, and had started to develop a reputation of being capable. So it was no surprise when he was called upon by Lee to help with a choreography with the movies Big Boss, Chinese Connection, Enter the Dragon, and Return of the Dragon. He and Lee became good friends to the point where Lam, who was known for having a quick temper, got arrested for fighting while they were filming the movie The Big Boss. Bruce Lee would come to his aid and bail him out of jail. After the death of Bruce, Lam, who did not speak much of their relationship, was said to be quite devastated. Although he would continue to work at Shaw's TV, Lam would also do work for independent producers. However, the alliance that would prove most fruitful to Lam was when he joined the Samuel Hong Stuntman Association and began collaborating with Samuel on such classic films as Magnificent Butcher, Warriors 2, and his breakout movie, the Prodigal Son, all for Golden Harvest Studio. For the next few years, Lam would continue to feature in many of Samu's and Golden Harvest productions in minor on-screen roles or behind the scenes. Then in 1985, Lam would star in the role that he became most closely associated with, Master Carl, in the horror comedy, Mr. Vampire. He would do several sequels on a television series based on this character. However, Lam would become frustrated for being typecast in the horror comedy genre, but he would continue to work on several movies involving the Mr. Vampire theme. With the decline in movie roles, Lam would gravitate towards television. It was there he would get his second coming. In 1995, Lam was given a starring role in the television series Vampire Expert. The series would become a hit and revive Lam's popularity. Sadly, on the 8th of November 1997, at the age of 49, after a brief battle with liver cancer, Lam Ching Ying would pass away at the St. Teresa's Hospital in Hong Kong. In his personal life, Lam got married to Cheng Bing Bing in 1983. They had two children, a daughter, Lam Sigar, in 1985, and a son, Lam Ka Yu, in 1988. They would get divorced the same year their son was born. During the filming of the series Vampire Expert in 1995, Lam and his co-star, Kingdom Yen, became involved in a relationship. However, in 1996, after he found out about his cancer, he broke off the relationship. In 1983, at the Hong Kong Film Awards, Lam won the award Best Action Choreography for the movie Prodigal Son. He would also win the following year, 1984, for the movie Winners and Sinners. With a body of work that boasts 
actor, 136 films, martial arts director, 27 films, assistant martial arts director, 5 films, producer, 3 films, and director, 2 films, along with many other credits. There is no doubt that Lam Chi Ying's place in the annals of Kung Fu cinema is safe and secure. So to Lam Chi Ying we say, rest in eternal peace and thanks for the memories. If you have enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell and feel free to leave a comment. Thank you and may the food be with you.